so high school just doesn't give you that um it doesn't give you the buffet table it, it oh, that's a really high good, school um, is like prison food <laughs> <laughs> every but, day you go you get you get piece of bread you get some saltless kalaloo you get some fresh porridge um da, 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 and that you know but what's interesting is i've I never think, been to prison this is stuff i've overheard you sure about that I mean, <laughs> but, but i think what's interesting <laughs> is that and welcome back to 50 cents the show where we try to decide if university is worth it or not and here to talk about it with me is caleb diagula caleb welcome to 50 cents thank you for having me <laughs> <laughs> of course ladies and gentlemen i'm your host kemani and this is 50 cents remember to join the conversation in the comments like share subscribe the whole thing you know how it works it's youtube you've been here <laughs> so i have a little intro prepared for Caleb. Um, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> yeah. So, Caleb is a graduate of UIMONA, a graduate of Goldsmiths University of London. He's a writer director, and something that lots of people actually don't know is that he's worn fake locks for the past two decades. <laughs> And he, he's been tricking you guys. Everybody, it's fake. I promise you. I've seen it. I've seen him take it off. <laughs> I saw him take that one. I'm revealing it now because, you know, it's on camera. I can't do anything about it. But, you know. What? Did you pull it? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't prove anything. Oh, it's just a sewn in real life. Yeah. <laughs> you, just, you just find a good hair dresser. I mean, you've been doing it for two decades. But you know two decades. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, no, no. I get you. I so get pulling you, I get it you. doesn't yeah, no. prove anything it, at it all. It makes perfect sense. Like, you know, yes, from was five yeah. i have just learning how to do it myself i was yeah. like i am going to put on a show <laughs> for 20 years okay i i did that yeah i did that that's dedication if i've ever seen it <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> all right so we have some this or that right okay so pick one the other one goes away cool or this is the one you would just pick one okay yeah one. <laughs> all right so cats or dogs uh, uh, cats. Jesus, dogs. Why? Why? Because okay, dogs just have too much energy. I know people love dogs, but they just have a lot of energy. Whereas cats are cool and just cats chill. are conniving. Cats are thieves. That and that's how I know you're a dog person. Cats are sassy. Because only dog people say that cats are conniving, um, sassy. Like no, cats are just how many, how they're many independent. Cats have you owned? Two. Okay. Two. My aunt had like three. It was not a pleasant experience. But your aunt loved all three of them. I'm assuming. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's no proof of any of this. <laughs> I'm just assuming. Fine, fine. fine. Yeah. Fine. All right. Next one. Mm -hmm. Meat or vegetables? Well, I don't eat meat. So. And, <laughs> but it's a part of the bit, guys. With the locks and thing, he has to like commit to it fully so nobody suspects. But also, can can I not choose any? Because I don't love veg. Like who? Okay, no. But seriously, who really loves vegetables? Like oh, you know what I could really go for right now? A salad. Like who really says that? Lots of people actually. No, no, no. People say that. People say that. like, what's the other option if you're not going to eat meat or if you're not? What are you going to eat bread? <laughs> Just for, this is triggering. Like, what's your, what's your <laughs> other option? This is literally my whole life where I'm like, oh no, I'm vegetarian, and people are like, so you only vegetables? I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, so there's what are the other food so... options? Though? No, okay, not like, no, okay, okay, wait. Am wait, I supposed wait. to list uh, <laughs> all okay. the other things that it's, I can eat? It's not that the only options are meat or vegetables, but like, like, what's the other thing you add to it? Right. Okay. So, like, what would be my meat substitute? Is yeah. if that's what you're asking? Okay. Mm -hmm. Fine. Um, tofu, mm. gluten, which is not the same thing as like people saying they have a gluten allergy. I mean, it may be because it's made from wheat. I don't know, but I grew up with this thing called gluten. But in the UK, it's known as seitan, mm. which is also <laughs> that was my reaction the first time I heard it too. <laughs> But it's not S A T N, it's S E I T A N. Mm, okay. Anyways, so there's gluten, there's Satan, there's veggie chunks, there's mints, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah, like, there's a lot of different other options. Right. <laughs> okay. You listed what? Uh, tofu, 
Is that right? Okay. okay. You listen. Yeah, no, wait, 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 wait. 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 Yeah, yes. we're not okay, leave it. Yes. Tofu. Mm-hmm. Tastes like rubber. Um, what was the next thing? Satan. I won't even address that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what was the third thing? Gluten. Well that, uh, that's understandable, yeah. Okay. 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 Veggie chunks. Yeah, oh I used to eat that, yeah. Veggie chunks. Okay, yeah. veggie and veggie mints. Um mm-hmm. an assortment of beans and oh, okay. peas. Sure. And <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, cool. Nice. I never make it sound interesting, but the reality <laughs> is if you go like, okay, so my dad owns, um, my dad started his own business like 30 years ago, which is mm-hmm. um, Country Farmhouse. Um, and this it's a vegetarian whole food supply store. So like I grew up knowing that there were so many different ways you can cook um, non-meat, mm-hmm. vegetarian products, mm-hmm. um, soya products, um, vegan products. And so, yeah, like it's, I've never, I've never thought of of vegetarian food being limited, but I realize that a lot of people who are becoming vegetarian now are like, oh, you know, I'm tired. Of, you know, chickpeas take so long to cook, and I'm like, there's more to there's more to this life than chickpeas. So there is yeah. Satan <laughs> and tofu, <laughs> and also onto that whole tofu rubber thing. You need to cook it properly. Mm. If you're not cooking it properly, you need to season it. You need to put some soy sauce on it, some okay. seasoning. Then it will help with that kind of bland, rubbery taste. Okay. Yeah. So that one girl from high school who okay. cooked tofu and food and nutrition and I ate, ate it and it tasted like rubber, it's your fault. It's not mine. It's not tofu's fault. It's all your fault. I was Excellent. the one guy in high school that cooked tofu <laughs> for the food and nutrition <laughs> class. <laughs> and everybody's like... Yeah, what what is this? And I was like, this is what I eat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so okay. I'm Jamaica trying to like, I'm trying or, to don't like peep. look no, these <laughs> questions. <laughs> Jamaica the... or foreign? Since you just came back or recently came back, not just, but like recently came back. Jamaica, always. Okay, nice. Oh, what's that? No, all right, no, Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> Arts or science? Arts. Don't ask me nothing about science, please. Mm. <laughs> All right, last one. Acting or directing? Oh. Yes, I left that one for last on purpose. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, that's actually a really good question. Um, Thank you. It was acting, mine. It was mine. It was mine. It was who? <laughs> <laughs> I took credit and then looked behind the camera. <laughs> Not my question. I'm sorry. It's not my question. Acting um, is my first love, mm-hmm. first passion. But I found that directing, like, directing gave me the ability to, like, tell my own stories, I guess. And without, you know, someone else telling me who I should be. Like, when you're an actor, you know, you have, you, you get roles and Mm -hmm. you you have to audition and and a lot of times you think oh I'll be perfect for this role and then for whatever reason you know the director or the casting agent or whoever is just like "Mm, yeah but your nose too big Mm, yeah but you look this way Mm, yeah but you have locks and it's like okay but whereas with directing I'm able to kind of tell my own stories Mm -hmm. so I kind of lean in towards directing a little bit more Mm -hmm. Um, but I love acting because yeah, why not? <laughs> so acting. <laughs> no, you have to choose. I listen. To, I listen to it all, right? But then I'm like, okay, pick one. <laughs> Dude, I I will go with directing. Okay. Because yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can never go on stage, never go back in front of a camera. It's wow. All behind the camera. That that's what it is, though. You're choosing one. Um, I would say I would say directing because. If, okay, if I was supposed to be known for something, I think I'd want to be known for something that I wrote and directed. Mm-hmm. Maybe more than something and I acted something. in. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Ish. Ish. Makes sense. Makes sense for me too because... Um, I was going to... Yeah, I was going to ask. Yeah, that. because it's the same for me. The, my, my entry into the creative space was acting. Yeah. So... But now you're directing. Now I'm leaning towards directing. Yeah. Like heavily. Like I've stopped going to audition. Really? I've stopped, yeah. I've, I've, I've just like, well, you you see all of us going on. Yeah. It <laughs> just look like. <laughs> no, but like. So, yeah. I don't know if 
if he's still trying to... No, I'm, I will, you know, because... Okay, here's the thing, though. Mm-hmm. I'm probably going to do, like, the Quentin Tarantino thing or the... What's that other... The one who directed Avatar. I forgot, I've forgotten his name. Um, 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 Not M. the good Night... Avatar, the, the bad one. Mm. Last year, Ben, the bad one. M. Night Shyamalan. M. M. Yeah. M. 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 Night Shyamalan. <laughs> <laughs> what, what those two do, you know, they put themselves in their movies. They put themselves right, in their movies. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean that's, that's my accent. I can still get a bit of both worlds if I lean towards directing heavily. Okay. I feel that. I feel that. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. So, the topic is or as i had stated earlier is you know we're trying to decide whether or not university is worth it yes okay all right so here's here's an interesting this, fact no but first of all this is a very like is university worth it that's such yeah. a grand question yeah, it's grand what if somebody's gonna watch it. this and be like well the man has said the university isn't worth it so i'm not gonna go do the do the pharmacology I, I is pharmacology I, I, pharmaceutical pharmaceuticalology yeah, Pharmacology, Pharmacology is the yes, word. I, yeah, I'm not gonna. Go, why did I? Why no, was that the first they, that came to I my am, mind as well? Like, yet still, he says, "Do I be anything about science?" <laughs> and look, and look at you. Your first option for the, the first thing that pops up in your head is the science. Really, seriously, you really think mm, it's okay though? It's okay. I understand. <laughs> Listen, I did biology. No, and don't see, ask me what my grade was in C. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, by no means am I telling anybody to because we haven't decided yet. It's we're ta- we're okay. going to talk okay. about okay. it, sure. and then based sure. on the conversation, people will you know make their fair. come to their own judgment. Fair, 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 right? fair, fair. I mean, one of us is in final year and the other one has a degree and a master's. So, I mean, <laughs> it's a bit biased, a bit, but <laughs> we're still it trying to fetch it out. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, oh yeah, I'm in final year. You yeah. just graduated with your master's in that. You're in final year studying what? Um, communication and media. There we go. Sorry, I apologize. No, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, okay. It's not me. I mean, I knew, but did they know? Oh, did you know? Communication and media, that's what I'm studying. Communication <laughs> and media. Communication and media. You, you have to say it a few times yeah, for them right? to understand. Communication and media. Communication and media. And media. Communication and media. Com- Wait. Communication. And media? And media, yes. Oh, communication and media. Got right. it. Oh Got my. it. Got it. I thought you were saying communication and media, but then I realized you were saying no, you're actually but, saying communication, but, but communication and media. Communication and media is not that far from communication and media. That's true. They're they're kind of similar. Yeah. But but they're still a bit different. Mm, I can't agree with that though. Okay. Mm. I mean, teach your own. Yeah, right? Thanks. Communic so communication and media. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm studying. Take a shot every time and you said communication. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a studied, great drinking game. Right, yeah, for true. <laughs> you've studied... Yeah. Um, what did you study? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want... Is it anthropology? Aha, See, yes. I have it. I just... Every time I think of he that, I research. feel nervous. No, he right? I feel research. nervous every time I'm supposed to say it like, that sounds wrong. Right, so you did you you have a bachelor's in anthropology, yes, and now a master's in directing, yes. Anthropology is uh, what, what, under what bracket would you put it? Science, business, social science, science. social science. Okay, yeah. Um, why? <laughs> um, I was in I was like I was a creative in high school, and I. I knew I didn't want to study acting, mm-hmm. and I wa- I knew I kind of I was trying to figure out like okay what could I see myself doing, and I was like I want to be like those guys on CNN that goes to cool places and like mm-hmm. you know interviews people, but I was like I don't want to do journalism because I feel like journalism can be a bit clinical, it is. Whereas for me studying culture and like someone that is more interested in culture is is looking at is looking at people and and talking to people from a different lens mm-hmm. so yeah like <laughs> i literally was just like so this is gonna be my stepping stone to traveling and yeah. doing cool <laughs> shit <laughs> um so how did <clears throat> the transition from high school to university you, you know, that was your decision was like oh mm-hmm. you know Traveling and talking to people, meeting people, yada, yada, yada. But, like, did did you make the conscious decision to go to university or was it, like, influenced in any way? 
Oh, that's a good because that's what we're trying. You know, that's that's one of the things yeah. we're trying to decide if if whether or not um, um, parents or teachers or whomever is like either subliminally or like directly saying, you know, you know, university is like your next step. Go to university, or did you like? Okay, I want higher education. And I'm going to go pursue it. So which was it? My mom, it, who's I mean, she's pretty cool. She's pretty nonconformist as well, and she's also Rasta. But um, there wasn't there. There was a, a a push. There was a kind of like a push to go to university, mm-hmm. um, but not one that I think like I know some of my other friends had. You know what I mean? And I think also because she studied anthropology, there was like a little like safety net to doing something outside the box. Cause, but she didn't want me to study anthropology, you know, because <laughs> she was just like. I am. I studied anthropology, and look where I am now. Like, why are you going to study anthropology? <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. I feel like when you kind of have like, it depends on your parents. And I had you know cool parents to just be like, well, you know, do what you want to do and see where it goes. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm now going to have to apologize to the viewers because you're not going to get apparently so far. You're not getting much var- variety in like experiences and and things like that because my father was pretty chill didn't go to university couldn't care less about mm-hmm. university Same. he's doing his thing now yeah my mother she went well i think she's now on her third degree oh wow. right, yeah so her and her sisters bright sparks yeah and then the, there's the... you <laughs> Ah, thank you so much for today. Yeah, uh, you I'll can. See you day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well, I'll, I, I mean, <laughs> we, whether I like it or not, um, compared to my generation, because mm-hmm. like I said, my mother, my mother and my aunts, they have multiple degrees. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but that I, f- I feel like that's because they thought they needed, um. You know, higher education to move up in life, yada, yada, yada. You know, it's the whole thing of like making life better for the next generation, yada, yada, yada. So they yeah. made sure they were educated, they got decent, good jobs, so they could provide for us, right? Um, no, I'm, I wasn't forced, say that to say this, I wasn't forced by my mother. Or, like I said, my father's pretty chill, he couldn't care less about university. Um, but my, I, I wasn't forced by my mother to go to university. Yeah. Just like you said, my mother was like, as long as it's not illegal... I support you, you know, in whatever you take up. But why that? Why media and communications, though? Much like you said earlier, <laughs> they're bright sparks, and then then there's Kemani. Oh. I'm the creative in my family. Not saying creatives are dunces. I'm just saying That's sciences exactly. and business is not I for felt, me. I felt the shade when you said right. that. For this time. <laughs> That's why I went <laughs> back and addressed it. So I'm the guy in my family who has zero interest in. Like business administration, like that business stuff. I have zero interest in sciences. My sister is brilliant at the sciences and business. My cousin, brilliant at sciences. My other cousin, math genius. And then Kemani, just, you know, the average Joe. In, in like, you know, in general education. No, no, no. Like, not you, not like everywhere else. But, so I was not forced at any point. I don't think I was coerced either into going mm-hmm. to university. I just feel like I always wanted to go to university. Because I saw everybody else around me going to university. My aunts all went to university. Adults who I looked mm. up to went to university. So I thought, oh, cool. I, I should I should kind of do that too. So that's my re- that's 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 yeah. my early high school, late prep school reason for like thinking forward towards university. But by the mm. time I got to high school, and like when you're in sixth form or and you know that okay, after you leave these two years of sixth form, you either go find a job or you go to university. Mm-hmm. Or you you know, you go squat and spend life squatting i guess i don't know I'm, i don't know i really don't know i don't know what the third option was <laughs> so in at that moment i every every now and then i would think what do i want to do with my life next mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. what what is it that i want to do next how, how would i approach it yada, yada, yada. and at one point i was like i do i even want to go to university anymore all right because i was having a hard time figuring out what it is that i wanted to do next yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so there is there is that that led into um I left Jamaica right after I finished um Cape. I went abroad, I spent some time abroad. While abroad I was applying for universities here and there. 
and got got through to a couple, but you know, school are very expensive and very everything. Expensive. So I was like, mm, but I still at that point I still hadn't figured out what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So I um took a gap year. I well gap year it didn't end up being a gap year because oh well, yeah I took a gap year which didn't end up being a gap year. I, I enjoyed vacation. I did tempest. <laughs> I did Tempest when I came back to Jamaica. Yeah. I came back to Jamaica 2017 and then auditioned for Tempest, got through 2018. That's how we met. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's, that's how we met. That's how I met him. Um, in 2018, we did, I did Tempest. And then right after Tempest, I was like, no, no, no. During that time, I realized, okay, I really like acting. I really like performing. I really mm-hmm. like, I really like um, media and all that stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. That might be what I do. So I, of course, you know, I applied for Caramark, applied for BCAT at UTech, all them things, applied for universities abroad. Um, one I got through with was Vassa College in New York, where mm-hmm. I went and I, I signed up for the summer program where I studied stage management and directing. Oh, dope. Right. Yeah. So, now, and that, you know, that was college slash university or whatever. So it's from there, right? And then it bubbled over. I came back. I was like, I was like, oh, I'm enjoying this, mm-hmm. you know? So I was like, okay, cool. Go to UTech, pick up their media course and then do that. And while I'm there to all of you know what I've done so far. So college and university for me was like an entire process. Because there was at one point where I was like, I don't think I need to go. And then I went, I got a taste of something. I was like, oh, nice. So that, but that's the interesting thing about like university for me is it always helps to, it, it, it's like a trend, it's like a transition and a transitionary period for you. Because in high school, You've kind of been in this institution for a long time, kind of doing mm-hmm. subjects that, you know, you... You probably have no interest in. Yeah, you know. even, even though with KP, you choose your subjects, but still, it's, 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 it's a certain formula. But with mm-hmm. universities, a level of you saying... There's a, there's a, great de- a great degree of agency of you saying, you know what, I am interested in this. And whether or not you do it, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because a lot of people may have interest in something, but they're like, oh, this, how am I going to get a job with that? Or, oh, my parents don't want me to do that. So there's so many reasons why you probably don't actually study the thing you want to study. But at least by going to university or in a space where even if you're studying something else, you can hopefully take up take a, a, mm-hmm. a out of faculty course yeah. um, in the thing that you want to do or join a club, join a society, and you're around grown folk that are actually in that business Mm -hmm. whereas you know when you're in high school and and elementary school prep school whatever primary school you it's not it's not the same it's not the same because you're young you're young and Mm -hmm. and it's it's kids around kids whereas with universities is adults i was explaining to my 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 little brother just a couple days ago because he's uh, he's on his last leg in uni in in, um high school school? Mm -hmm. and he's trying to decide um what to do when he goes to university yeah and just like what you just said is what i said to him i'm like i think of university as maybe like maybe even your first year university is where you go yeah or where you can go to like sort yourself out in a way like this is where you go to figure out this at, at university you have a higher chance of figuring out what it is that you want to do with yourself because you have so many options mm. right mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. in high school you don't have that vast in high yeah. school up to grade um 11 you, these are the subjects you do, you do and these are the yeah. subjects you have to do right yeah. and then in sixth form you said you know, some sixth forms you have uh, you went to arden yes yeah arden's sixth form roster is much greater than i went to st catherine high, um st catherine high sixth form roster yeah. right so um i know people who went to arden and did like media is there like is there like a, a media related core or a theater or something there's yeah we have theater arts yeah in in cape in cape yeah st catherine high doesn't have that wait Right, there is something I know. Somebody, somebody left Saint Catherine and I went to Arden to do to do that. I think it happened. Something, yeah. I think it happened in Cape after I left. Might have been maybe because it's it's my year group. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it was after so, I left. But anyways, so high school just doesn't give you that. Um, it doesn't give you the buffet table. It, it oh, that's a really high school good, is um... like prison food. Every but, day you go, you get you get piece of bread, you get some saltless callaloo, you get some fresh porridge, um, da 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 da, and that you know. But what's interesting is I've I never think, been to prison. This is stuff I've overheard. You sure about that? I mean, but, <laughs> but I think what's interesting is that you don't realize 
it's prison food when you're in high school. When, exactly. When because there, it's where yeah, you are. Yeah, when it's, it's there, it's the level you, you're at. you have yeah. no idea that w- right, right here, this isn't it. Yeah. This, is, this isn't even the tip of the iceberg. High school versus university in terms of options, in terms of variety. Like I said, just like Google prison food and they'll show you a little rectangle tray and then Google buffet. That's like the best I can no, think it's, of. It's, it's, like a good analogy still. it's a good analogy. It's a good analogy. It's a good analogy. Table. Where you can you look around and like mm, bite into an apple, up uh, it tastes bad, throw it away. And you still have so many options. Yeah. Prison food, you dig up the part, you taste it, you're like ah, salty, but I'm um, gonna wear else. What that's else that's all it? you have. You gotta, yeah. you gotta eat it, man. You have to eat it. <laughs> so that's how I think of university versus um High school, and that's what I was explaining to my little brother that mm-hmm. university is where you. Because I'm, I'm telling him, don't stress yourself. Right now, what you should do is make sure that you're getting decent grades, and make sure that you know you are a person that the university would accept based on grades or or, or sporting mm-hmm. performance and things like that. And then when you get to university, then you worry about all that stuff. Don't worry about that stuff now because yeah, it, it don't make sense. Right, one year you you're going to stress out yourself thinking about what you're going to do to university, and then God forbid you don't make it to university, that's a whole other thing. You make it there, and you've already, from high school, made up your mind to do this, and then when you're there doing this, you realize you don't like it. You're two, three years into university. Yeah. If you're in Jamaica and you're going to U, you only get three years. So so by the third year, you're looking to graduate, you can't. By the time you want to switch, you, you, you're looking to do another year or some more years. But you touched on something that's, I think, really interesting, which is the whole notion of a gap year. Mm -hmm. See, no, the thing about that came up in the conversation as well, gap year, right? So I said to him, I don't, I sort of took a gap year, Mm -hmm. but then I don't think a gap year really makes sense for some people. Why? Because if you don't have the resources or the, the, the... let me just stick with the resources and not try to think of something else and embarrass myself. If you don't have the resources to go Fair. out into the world and experience these options that you would have gotten at, at university, then you end up spending either your entire gap year in a dead-end job, just trying to make money to go yeah. to university, or you're just at home wandering around and you know stuff like that. And that's why I said it was interesting because I think like you had the experience, you had the opportunity to kind of go abroad and and get certain certain experiences, which. Mm-hmm is afforded to most people abroad. Like mm-hmm. if you're in the US, in the, in the UK, a lot of these kids, you know, take a gap year and travel and get yeah. life experience. And it's like, where is this life? I want some you of that in Jamaica. No. <laughs> can I go to Barb? Can I do a Caribbean tour? I would love to do a Caribbean tour, or take, yeah. do a gap year and do a Caribbean yeah, tour, but, but it's not those, the, that, the, the that research, infrastructure and the resources there. Just isn't, isn't there to do something there. like that so um, we don't have the luxury yeah of like saying oh i'm going to take a gap year to figure out what i want because what you're going to end up doing is you're going to take the gap year you're going to say okay i want to go to university next year i'm going to use my gap year to make some money and you go find a job the nine to five that gives you money yes but that's all you will end up doing for the entire Higher gap time. year and the, 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 and the thing is you know the gap year for people you know abroad young people abroad speaking specifically about them um i have a few friends that have done it um is sometimes not even just about like to figure out what you want to do but because the whole notion of a gap year is normalized Mm -hmm. in 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 society yeah it's like oh take a break yeah like it's these young people they can it's 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 not I fi- what I'm saying is that I find in Jamaica, since we're speaking about Jamaica, mm-hmm. is that there's like a, 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 what do I want to say, like a system, like a like a like you're on a propeller. You know, you go this school, then that school, then you go to university, then this, then mm-hmm. this, then this, and then it's like. But whereas that system is kind of broken up in the US and UK where it's like, okay, you can go, you can you can go to university now, you can go next year, you can go in two years, three years. You know, and also people can spend time to, especially creatives, they can spend time to be in some creative job and just, I know, I went to, you know, I went, I just did my master's in directing. The people I'm working on sets with Mm -hmm. didn't go to film school, didn't even go to university. Like... Yeah, that's they the just next thing. they just got in a job and they were able to to work their way up. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying and there are people like that here in Jamaica as well, but it's it's less common because you will find that 
most creatives did a degree in something, mm-hmm. yeah, whether yeah. it's a creative yeah. degree or not. They did <laughs> a degree. That is an a degree because um, a lot of us end up going to university with the thought of, okay, in case I don't make it yes. as a creative, yep. mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. need some. I need a fallback. I need a fallback. I was good. I was just so we end up. That. We end up going studying business administration, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or you know, mm-hmm. one of those things that you know you could do. In, in, if you're not brilliant like some people, you know, you'd go and you do the the that? you. You'd go and you <laughs> valedictorian when you graduated. You let's let's okay. not pretend. All right, I'm gonna let you. Let's I'm not gonna let you finish. Pretend. I'm gonna let you finish. Okay. So you'd go and you'd do something that you know you there is a greater chance of getting a job if you have this degree. Yeah. Because we're like, oh, I really want to, you know, I really want to yeah. act, I really want to direct, yeah. I really want to write, yada yada yada. But the success rate is so low. I mean, I, I can't really wrong anybody for doing that, though, because yeah. making it, it I mean, I, I, it blessed luck. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it is a difficult industry to thrive in if you don't have, like, links and, and them some things. So it's kind of understandable when you think about it that way. But um, so I want, to, I want to speak on studying abroad versus studying here. Well, before you before you speak on that, because I think that's a very good topic. Um, I just just to echo what you're saying about what were you saying? That's the question. <laughs> what were you actually saying? No, <laughs> <laughs> to echo what you're saying about the difficulty of of like just doing a degree just because mm-hmm. and the difficulty in in making it, especially as a creative. I feel like one of the other things that helps Mm -hmm. is perseverance and i say that because and i mean it it very difficult because also i'm lucky where i'm the last child um from my family from my parents i don't have certain responsibilities like my eldest brother you know took over the family business when my father couldn't anymore you know what i mean like he literally he didn't go to sixth form because he was he knew how to drive and was doing deliveries around jamaica from the age of like 14 so I didn't, I didn't have that life growing up. So I could, mm-hmm. I was able to kind of do what I wanted to do, you know? But what I'm saying is that I found, I, I just realized because of, I'm going to speak plainly. I, I, I just said to myself, I, I want to be happy. And this sounds like such a millennial thing to say, but it, it really it does. does. It really yeah. does. But the, 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 the truth is, I just said, I don't want to be in a job that I don't like. Mm-hmm. I have been in jobs that I haven't liked, but I always saw the reason why I was in yeah. that job. You know what I mean? I've done a lot of different jobs and a lot, and I put myself in positions that really push me mm-hmm. um, in ways that I never really knew how it would. Um, and it was very uncomfortable, but I always knew the lesson I was going to get from it. Mm-hmm. Um, so you knew the lesson you would get from it before you subjected yourself to that job or whatever or did you did you do it and then be like okay i'll take a lesson from this because in an earlier episode um me and Mm -hmm. the guest talked about putting ourselves in in situation we are in situations that we have we we have no interest in it we're not enjoying it it's basically torture it's depressing it's all the (laughs) negative things you can think of but then you you end up saying oh um um oh we'll make the best of it it's a learning experience. We'll we'll enjoy this. We'll learn something from this. So, is it a matter of you went into it knowing that okay, um, this is not what I want to do, but I will learn something from this, or did you happen to be in it and you're like, okay, fine, I'm already here. Let me might as well learn something while I'm here. Which one? Which was it? Whatever whatever position I put myself in, and let's say let's call it a job. Then it's mm-hmm. not just jobs, but let's say it's a job. Whatever job I put myself in over the last few years that I've been living and working and stuff. Um. I always, I could see a benefit from mm-hmm. it. Personal, okay, so that personal means growth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means it's um, before then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's why I did it. Because why else, why else am, am I going to put myself in something where we're not going to really benefit me? Mm-hmm. Um, well, for survival, most people don't have the luxury of... That is very true. Yeah. And <laughs> so... <laughs> but... This, so, but yeah, and that's no. I'm understanding, but I'm just, I'm just saying. No, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like when I, 
I realize that there is a, a, a level of privilege where I've been able to maneuver spaces mm -hmm. because I don't have kids. I don't have a family yet. I don't, you know, I just don't have certain family meaning, you know, a wife and kids, not like I have my parents. I don't know no, why. When, you, when, when you I said, said family, yet, it made it said, seem like the yet. Yeah, you, the yet but, made it make sense. If you're, if you're going to stop at family. I have a family. It was then, like, wait, where, where, where's right. this? <laughs> where's all the people we've been talking about? No. <laughs> no. But, yes, I've been able to to earn, you know, because I've taken jobs. Whew, a lot of my friends. I am the poor friend. Let me make that clear right now. I am the poor friend, but I make it work. Mm -hmm. Like, big for me, and that's because I am making it work for me. So right now, I am able to travel as best as I can, earn what I can to, to buy a plane ticket, to go somewhere else, to do a project, to, you know, to kind of, mm -hmm. all these things that kind of make me just enough to kind of do what I need to do. Um, and that works for me because that also builds my brand and stuff. But then I have most of my friends are in jobs paying them a lot Some of money. Big and box. I'm like, rah. Yeah, I was I was talking to two of my friends recently. We were trying to work some stuff. I don't know. I don't know how it happened. This is just a little um off off off. Topic. Yeah, the, we went we, somehow we went <laughs> yeah. and it's feel like it's my fault, but but anyway. no, just just a little quick. <laughs> Um, example for that. So I ha there are two friends of mine who have, you know, like normal job, yeah. normal in quotes. Um, and we were talking, and I have a little part time job, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought I was making decent money. And then I was like, we were talking. One one of them wanted to invest in something. The other one wanted um, to find a, a new location to live and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they, so I was like, you know, what's your budget? And he was like, um, how much do you think we make a month time? I was like. <laughs> Mm, maybe 50, 60. And it was like, who let me call you? I was like, huh? Like he didn't want to type. Like, I don't know, feel suspicious or something. So he called me, told me the number. It was <clears throat> much more than 50, Jesus. 60. It was <laughs> beyond that. And this man, then, then, oh, this is so good. He does not have a degree. Right? So... But the flip side to that is I have a lot of friends who only have a bachelor's, is making a substantial amount of money, and mm -hmm. it's like, I'm the, just going to do a one, master's in something because it's yeah, going to make me yeah, double more, what more, I'm yeah, making. Yeah, 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 and yeah. I just don't understand that. <laughs> I, feel, I think that, like, yeah. that system is crazy to me. Like, mm -hmm. Just because you have a master's means that you automatically get paid get more. more. Yeah, but yes, also, yes, yes, yes. I... I mean, as someone with a master's, I don't mind it. I will take, <laughs> I'll take the extra money if you're giving it to me. I'm just saying. But also, it doesn't really apply in my field because nobody asked me for a film yeah. degree. Like, yeah, who's going to be not, like, mm. oh, master's in film? You can direct this feature. Yeah, right. Nobody. Right. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, you know that watch doesn't work, right? It does. Oh, is that actually the time? You son of a bitch my watch works i thought you, i genuinely thought you is, were just trying to the worst part i genuinely is, I thought doubted it was it like a, i don't the worst part i doubted it in a, oh, oh so we're back God. and just look at my rolex <laughs> i don't even know if it's a rolex but i just i just <laughs> he just tried to expose me on my own so he goes oh you know that watch doesn't work by the way <laughs> an awful <What>? person like <laughs> why did i even do that I could have just make you just go out with your little you watch. You could have waited it down and afterwards you say, does that watch work? You could have. There were so many ways. So many. He, I was surprised he didn't look into the camera and go, you know, that watch doesn't work, by the way. By the way. No, <laughs> the watch doesn't work. It works. It does look, it look does. at that And it looks, it's a nice it watch. Works. Thank you. I will say it's a nice watch. Thank you. Good. Good. Got there. In <laughs> do you remember your point? Yes, I do. Great. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> so, um, something interesting came up in the conversation just now about how much money is made. Yada, yada. So, I have two friends. One has a, a degree already. Uh, the two male friends, I was saying, well, I didn't specify their, their gender. Well, now, now, you know, I guess. Um, the two <laughs> friends I have that are making like bank, one has a degree, one doesn't. One is a. Uh, um, an IT person, of course. Who, if anybody doesn't know, IT makes money. One is an IT person, and one is a a a, a trade, electrical, okay, thing, thing. Yeah. Okay. 
So, I mean, one has a degree, one doesn't, right? One is a, and is a, 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 what is the, what is the degree equivalent of like a trade thing? So, so, so I'm, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm saying one has a degree, one doesn't. One doesn't. One has a trade, one is in a traditional, I would probably is, say a traditional job. Maybe. Mm, may, mm, mm, mm. Uh, mm, maybe the not. point is. The point is, <laughs> <laughs> there is money to be made without having a degree. It's just that, I mean, I I don't know if you have anything to stand up because I personally, I mean, I'm, I'm going for a degree. I'm I'm almost completely getting my degree. This is only like there are only a few people who I know who don't have degrees for making decent money. I um, you know I I know a lot of people who have made a lot of mm-hmm. money. Um, Without degrees, yeah. So, 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 well, they, so that's one. So, that mixed with you just said a degree and a master's, the higher you go, the more money you make, right? So each of them yeah. has their place in the world, right? So in, at the beginning, you were saying, um, it, you don't want anybody to come and say, "Oh, Kimani said, uh, I you don't have to go to university, so I won't go to university." But now I'm, now I'm. Bringing the point forward that you don't, there is money to be made in both both places. You know what I'm saying? Degree or no degree? Yeah, but I I, I think what's interesting. I just thinking about it now is that obviously this is not a, a hard and fast rule, but I, I just think people with degrees may rely on the degree to give them the the, 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 the yeah, push yeah. and uh-huh. the stepping stone and the money. Whereas people without degrees have to rely on what did I mention before? Perseverance. Um, mm. Even though I, th- I don't even feel like that's the word I really want to use, but just like really um, mobilizing their own agency to, to get the thing. I mean, we, we haven't even talked about entrepreneurs and I, I know you can go to UE or university and study entrepreneurship, but I know a lot of entrepreneurs that didn't go to school and it's because they always said, well, I love to crochet and, and I've diversified that business over the, you know, what started as just making cute little swimsuits or cute little earrings, turn into swimsuits, turn into bags, turn into this, turn into that, turn into that. Mm-hmm. We know so much, so many like Jamaican people that are mm-hmm. doing that. Um, and then he even talks about like trade businesses. Um, lots of people in the trade trade industry have done that as well. But I think for Plumber, you to have make it. carpenter. Do you painter, know how much for a coach? A lot of money. But this is my point. Like, because I find that because there are lots of Jamaicans that do these types of things, it's it it's also a, a saturated market. Um, not just with trade, not just <laughs> at, with at that this specifically. Point, which market no. isn't saturated. But, exactly. But what I'm saying is I I find that like <laughs> it's gonna be entrepreneurship, but just like a lo- there are a lot of Jamaican entrepreneurs doing clothing and textiles. Mm-hmm. Um wood carpentry mm-hmm. things like that so kind of creative creative but also things that we kind of need mm-hmm. every day yeah um but there are a lot there what i'm saying is there are a lot of jamaicans that are getting into it and so for you to set yourself apart you have to you have to do a certain level of groundwork and some of that groundwork people learn by other from other people and friends, some of that groundwork also people just learn in university, and that's the truth. Mm-hmm. And maybe university isn't necessarily um, the three years, but you could have you could have taken a business course, a six months or a three six months, months business yeah. course, and that can help you to give you the tools to help better your business. I do think that we are children of life, and that learning never stops. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I think that for us to better ourselves individually, we have to continue to seek knowledge yeah so that may not be as i said a, a degree a bachelor's degree or a master's degree yeah but it is important for you to seek knowledge because that's the only way that you're going to better yourself okay and identifying whether or not the field that you want to go into requires hard um evidence of said knowledge Right, like for us filmmakers, mm-hmm. we just need like um, a beautiful portfolio, many years of practice, yada yada yada. Mm-hmm. While um, some, let's say, a teacher mm-hmm. needs to show like hard evidence, like you know, this is my 
teaching degree or this is mm. my certificate of, of whatever, whatever. Yeah. So it 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 all depends I mean, on the where science it is as that you well. Want to I mean, go. like yeah, everybody yeah. in the science. You yeah, you have to. Could you, you, you imagine? You, could you, you imagine? <laughs> everybody's working. Oh, I'm <laughs> doctor. I've been doing experiments in my backyard yeah. for the past ten years. I know how to do this. Wait, surgery. do you remember? I mean, you quick <laughs> side note. Do you remember that news report of that little boy? I don't know if he was little, but he opened uh like a practice somewhere in America. And there's this young boy, and people are like, "You, you don't even have a degree. What surgery are you doing? I don't even know how you open up." <laughs> Anyways, that's a. I wish I knew his name to to tell yeah. you the story, but this is a story for another time. But it happens where people without degrees are trying to sneak their yeah. way into the system. So it's 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 you. You know, there are levels to higher education. Yeah. I guess I guess I shouldn't have labeled it as like university. I should label it as higher higher education. education. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. So, um university college because apparently that's different in some countries yeah um you can get things like bachelors you can get things like associates Associate you can get degree, things like certificates yeah. you can get um a um, little workshop things i don't i don't know what the name is i don't want to play it down but yeah but you know you can go to like a workshop or something and when you you know when you're done you get like a, a certification like a cert- yeah. yeah so you know there are various steps and stages to higher education yeah so it's not necessarily university 100 percent. you don't have to like it's not a, it's not mandatory that you go to university to be to have a better life it's 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 know what it is that you i thought that was a Hello. wasp <laughs> it's know what it is that you want to do mm-hmm. and then study towards that yeah so if i don't yeah. need a degree to be a filmmaker i would go at filmmaking workshops i would um practice that would make films for practice out all of that stuff i don't necessarily need a degree no. if you want to be a doctor go get your blasted degree you you, you know where you're going to walk into a hospital or or somebody's place of practice whatever you call those things i don't I have no idea what that place yeah. that place and say what you know the the thing you know I've I've done experiments in the back of my yard for the past day. I've, I have many I have lots of years of practice. But what's interesting, and I watch YouTube even videos. about even with creative fields, mm-hmm. I think having it's tr- I think studying does give you a stepping stone, though. No, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not saying don't. No, I know I know that. <clears throat> not COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> I know that it's um. Well, I know that's not what you're saying, but what I, I I'm just I'm just thinking about it now because it is true. Like, even with the creative field, like people might think, well, I don't need a, a degree to do it. I can photography. I'm interested in photography. I'm interested in this. I'm interested in that. I could just do it. I have a camera. I have um, a book that I can you know write stories in. I have mm-hmm. all these these avenues um, to be creative. So let me just do it. Um, but as someone who has done a degree in a creative field i do realize the benefit of it because you fully commit your time yeah to it for to the three or four years any, you know that's, you know a specific and even if it's not three or four years you know what i mean yeah, even yeah. If it's just a year so if you if you go to to if you're if you're going to study to it, you know it's like yeah it's that this is a commitment of course there's there are yeah. things to learn i, I wasn't no yeah, yeah yeah there are there is it's, it goes back to the buffet. The, the buffet doesn't only ap- apply to choices in what you want to do with your life. It also gives you a wider array of like things in that field that you wouldn't find outside. outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. You wouldn't find doing research yourself. You wouldn't find watching YouTube videos or whatever. However the hell you, you're learning right now. Going to university, it gives you these, the, you know, this, the this broader scope yeah, and the resources and as the well. Time. Yeah. I was earlier before the episode started I was talking and <clears throat> university for me was a place where I could go and get resources. Mm-hmm. You said you're the poor friend. I too am <laughs> the poor friend. Um so anything I want I'd have to save a lot to mm-hmm. get and university was where I was like okay I go to university I get access to cameras I get access to um writers directors I you know I would I would know through university gain access to the resources, whatever mm-hmm. they mean, the people, um, things, whatever it is, you you get it at university. Yeah. So within 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 our field or within whatever it is we we enjoy and we want to study, 
university gives us a, a um, like a vast open field wide ocean of knowledge that we wouldn't get searching for it ourselves mm -hmm. but now you and i kind of have um similar i think i'm gonna try to pick it up you studied abroad i've studied abroad <laughs> right but you studied here i've studied here so we yeah. both experienced what yeah. it is like to study i've i've studied in in america you've studied in uk and we both studied in jamaica yeah universities right beside each other you you take um so like i guess the question is like how do they how do they stack up beside each other how do they compare what what is the experiences like what you know just like mm. anybody who is like thinking of maybe going as like oh should i study i don't want to study in jamaica should i study abroad you know whatever it is that for those who have the option, of course. Yeah. I remember when I got accepted to UA. Well, not got... I was trying to also get to a school abroad. Mm -hmm. um, not necessarily because I thought that foreign schools were better, but just because I wanted a different experience. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to take a shot at Arden kids. Most Arden kids talk about, oh, you study abroad. I'm going to study abroad after university. The ones I know, at least. Okay. But, <laughs> I yeah, it was expensive. You know, you're talking about money. Oh, it was yeah, too yeah. expensive. Yeah. And so I went to UWE. And I will tell you, I'm so happy, in hindsight, you know, that I did. I think it is important. I also, I did a semester abroad in my final year at UWE as well. Mm. Um, and, I, and I, having studied anthropology for two years at UWE, it was a huge culture shock to go to the UK and feel so othered. I was the only black student in my classes. Mm. The, the, the syllabus and the curriculum didn't reflect me. Um, and I think, and yeah, I mean, some people might say, well, what do you expect? You know, you go out of white people, them school, and blah, 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 blah. But. That's what I was told as well. It's a but huge, is that, no, but it's, it's like a huge culture shock, identity crisis as well, because I was enriched with all the knowledge of um, our history and our culture, not just, uh, not just Caribbean culture, but how our Caribbean culture and Jamaican culture is in the diaspora and all these things. And then to go to this country and almost be invisible mm -hmm. in the syllabus was very weird for me. And to be the only voice that's like, well... It's not the same in my culture, and this is, and mm -hmm. I'm studying a course. I'm taking that a course is, that is that about is a yeah, yeah, the yeah. diversity of cultures, right? So that's one reason why I think it it was important, and I'm thankful and grateful that I studied. I did my foundation, you know, my first degree, the first three years, fresh out of high school, here in Jamaica, because it enriched me with a stronger sense of of self yeah um that i wouldn't have gotten and i and i know i wouldn't have gotten it because i have friends that have studied abroad and it's huge it's, it's beer identity crisis is beer um you know real like recognizing your black mm -hmm. all them something there yeah. which, which is which can be extremely damaging as well when you're away from home which i experienced even doing my masters you know like being away from home um but i think it's it's still important to Go out there and and just see see what else is out there when if you if you think you're ready because I think a lot of people glamorize the idea of foreign yeah of course um and I think people just think like oh anything that's American especially is better but anything that's foreign is better but the reality is is that you know what Jamaica lacks and what the Caribbean lacks is really just resources and mm -hmm. and and institutional wealth or or government wealth that can help us as like emerging creatives mm -hmm. especially um or e emerging professionals as a whole like whichever yeah. field a lot of us um come out of university and then just like sit around like yeah. there's nothing can't can't put it to anything. Yeah, but but what's but, your um, what's your take on like the 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 local versus? So I did the reverse, mm -hmm. right? I did a semester abroad, and then, then you came came yeah. and did um, Utech. <clears throat> um, 
Mm. It it for me, the the most I can remember from, and I don't, and I really don't want it to like boil down to a race thing, because I didn't directly feel um any race issues. It was mm-hmm. there, but it wasn't like direct, mm-hmm. right? It was probably just the institution or the people who are are used to that institution are just like not used to seeing or you know working with people of a darker skin tone um in the summer program there was almost 50 of us four of us were black Mm -hmm. two boys two girls Mm -hmm. um and that was it and for the um, no matter how often i would walk around the campus i would rarely see like weeks 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 and i would rarely see like other black people but i didn't think of it as anything because at the time um i i was i wasn't woke i guess i didn't I, that's what i'm saying i didn't directly it could have been happening and there were times things had happened but like i said i don't want it to be a racing but i was just um sharing the same thing because you mentioned that you know being in a space like that um but what were the be- so what what were the what were the the benefits of like being the, in that space the the, the structure yeah as like yeah. that's that's exactly it i agree so it uh, there are almost every major issue that we face here in the Caribbean or in Jamaica, whatever, is a matter of resources yeah. and, and the structure of it. When I was there, you would get your timetable for the week, midday on Sunday, so you can see everything that you have coming up the next week. Um, you, uh, While I was there, I wanted for nothing. Okay, yeah. Whether it be information... Whether it be um, freedom to explore my options, there there was just never a time where I felt like, okay, I can't afford this or I can't go do that or stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, but when I'm here now and I'm here in Jamaica and these things are going on, I'm like every 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 semester I'm like, all right, what do I need? I need I need um I need a camera, I need a memory card, I need a computer. You know, it, it and then now uh, while I'm there, there there is timetable issues. The school itself don't have them things sorted out. It's just I'm grateful for having experienced both. But if I was the type, because you said your your friends who um have identity crisis because they spent they, they studied abroad like without having experience like like you know the Jamaican culture and stuff like that. If I was if I didn't grow up how I grew up, like really hard and, and, and um, life wasn't easy and all that stuff. If I didn't grow up that way while there, I feel like I could have, I could have lost myself in the, mm. in, the, in the freedom or the easiness mm-hmm. of studying there. You go to your classes, there's, there's resources galore. You, you wake up, you get your food. It was just so easy mm-hmm. to be there for the summer program. And then now being here, and I'm on my final year in my degree. It has felt so hard. Yeah. So that is, to me, that is the differences to me. But I have no, it's hella expensive. So you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna pay a big box for your freedom and for the the um the ease that it comes with, I guess. I don't know what, what it is to you. But but yeah, so that's, that's, that's what I would say. That's how they stack up for me. It just feels very, mm, I was about to use a word, but I'm not going to use that word. I'm just going to stick with easy. It just felt easier studying there than studying here. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it's a matter of what if you can afford it, if it's a better option, stuff like that. Cool. Um, and lastly, before before I close. Um, a I time just, already? Yeah. Oh, my watch that works. <laughs> <laughs> it, fair. It's fair. <laughs> fair. Yeah. Yes, it is. Fair. It is <laughs> um, all right. Um, so... Thank you, and um, it throughout the entire video, I, I really hoped we shone some light. Mm-hmm. Thank mm-hmm. God, some light. <laughs> um, we, 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 we did this. Yeah, that's what we did. <laughs> yeah, we, but we, it was, it was kind of like all over the place. Yes, but somewhere in there, I feel like um, we gave some insight on. I mean, I, I hope we helped a couple of people decide whether it is they want to go to university or not. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I, you know, but, you know. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. 
Um, I hope you've accepted the fact that his locks are fake. You know, it's sad. how we have got. We have talked about so many things, <laughs> and somehow that is still on your mind. <laughs> Let it go. I I won't. A lot was said. Uh, a lot was said. I hope you took something from it. Thank you for coming, Caleb. It was great. Thanks. A lot of idleness. Lots of idleness. But, but this but, is also the nature of a friendship. Yes, it is. Yeah, all for the true. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so thank you ladies and gentlemen for viewing this has been Few Few Cents I've been your host Kemani this has been your guest Caleb remember to like, share and subscribe leave a comment, join the discussion and we will see you I will see you, not we because you won't be here next week <laughs> I will see you next week bye see you <laughs> yeah.